Welcome to Mindful Mastery, my name is Nick, and today we are going over Spark, the revolutionary new science of exercise and the brain by John Rady. And like the title implies, this book is pretty scientific, so if you're interested in how learning, depression, anxiety, and exercise interact with the brain, then I would highly recommend that you buy this book. I have a link down in the description if you're interested, so check it out. And I will be talking about depression and anxiety in this video, and I am aware that there are multiple forms of both, but for simplicity, I'm just going to be referring to them as depression and anxiety or anxious event. And I'm also going to be doing this summary a little bit differently. I'm going to be talking about three benefits of exercise and how they interact with learning and different mental ailments. The first benefit is exercise gives you control, which can lead to self-efficacy, meaning that you believe you are capable, which is the first step in managing the three A's, anxiety, addiction, and aging. With anxiety, many people begin to feel helpless because they don't understand why they have anxiety. And then they get anxiety about becoming anxious, making it feel like they're losing control. And whenever someone has an anxious event, they tend to tense up and not move, and their heart rate and breathing quicken. And so whenever their heart rate and breathing quicken in the future, they tend to associate that with anxiety and then get anxious as a result. But that also happens whenever you exercise. So by exercising, you can help to normalize those symptoms so that you won't get anxiety every time your heart rate and breathing quicken. And then going back to the sitting still and not moving whenever you're anxious, this actually reinforces the anxiety, whereas moving can help to alleviate it, which is another thing that you have to do whenever you exercise. Whenever someone becomes addicted to something, they are often aware that it is harmful to them and to those around them, but they aren't really for sure what to do about it. But by exercising, they are taking action which gives them back control from their addiction. And lastly, something that we don't really think about that often is aging and how we're going to function whenever we get older, because a lot of people are really reliant on their children and caregivers, which can make them feel helpless or really dependent on them. But whenever you exercise into your later years, you then become much more capable because your bones and muscles are stronger, you get sick less and need help less because your immune system is better. And something that we'll talk about later is that it helps to prevent the degeneration of your brain, which means that you will be mentally more capable for longer into your life as well. The second benefit of exercise is that it helps to release growth factors, which are proteins that are released in the body to spur the growth and strengthening of our cells. Now, exercise releases multiple different growth factors, but I'm just going to focus on one, and that is brain-derived neurotrophic factor. But to put it simply, just call it BDNF. And BDNF does three very important things. It encourages the growth of new neurons, the development of connections between neurons, and the strengthening of connections between existing neurons. This is extremely beneficial for learning, depression, addiction, and aging. So this obviously improves learning because you are able to develop more neural connections and those connections are also stronger so you remember the information for longer. But exercise also provides you with a boost of energy, making it much easier to focus in the hours after you exercise, which can also improve your ability to learn. In most cases, whenever someone is depressed, their brain is focused on a negative memory, which makes the environment seem particularly bleak. Whenever this happens, the brain begins to shut down in order to conserve energy, but that causes existing neural connections to wither, and it also hinders the development of new connections. And with anxiety, someone tends to become addicted because whenever they abuse a substance, it creates an extremely strong memory of the feeling that it gave them reinforcing that behavior. And with a lot of addicts, they use substances that kill brain cells, which makes it even harder to resist those impulses. Exercise can help counteract both addiction and depression because it helps to develop new neurons 
and new connections and also encourages the development of positive memories to substitute those negative or self-destructive ones. Whenever we turn 40, we start to lose 5% of our brain's mass per decade until we turn 70, at which point it speeds up at varying rates. This degeneration is due to a decrease in the production of growth factors, neurotransmitters, and hormones. Exercise helps to counteract this because it causes the release of all of those. The last benefit of exercise is that it regulates neurotransmitters. Antidepressants and uppers like Adderall are prescribed because it is believed that one or multiple of those transmitters are not being produced enough. So all of them increase the amount of neurotransmitters. But that's not always effective because just an increase isn't all that really matters. There needs to be a balance between the neurotransmitters, otherwise you're not appropriately treating the problem. This is where exercise can be much more effective because it not only increases neurotransmitters, it also regulates them to make sure that there is a balance between them. That's not to say that antidepressants and things like Adderall aren't effective, because they can be, but they also come with a host of other side effects. And over the long term, exercise tends to be more effective whether you're taking pills or not. Because whenever you take pills, you tend to attribute your improvement to the pill. But whenever you exercise, you gain a feeling of control and self-efficacy because you are working towards improving. Throughout reading this book, I gained a lot of motivation towards working out more and have now begun training for a 5K. So in the comments, tell me what exercise you like to do or what you want to do. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.